In this video, you will learn how to build a rolling plan table and how the rolling plan table is structured. How to build a rolling plan table The main rolling plan worksheet is the place where planning is done. It can also be viewed as a focal point of all the data stored in the worksheets of the basic group. Therefore, before you start generating the rolling plan template, make sure the rest of your tables are filled out properly. More specifically, in the basic work centers and SKUs worksheet, the relationship between work centers or production lines and SKUs must be clearly defined. Also, there must be no blank cells or gaps in the table, and positive numeric values must be entered for rates, efficiencies, and minimum lot sizes. In the Work Centers Constraints Worksheet, Time Bucket IDs, and Work Centers or Production Lines must be left as generated, and for each combination of Time Bucket and Work Center, a positive numeric time constraint has to be defined. Also, there must be no blank cells or gaps in the table. In the basic demand worksheet, time bucket IDs, SKU IDs, and descriptions must be left as generated. Numeric values have to be entered for demanded quantities, stock constraints, and optionally, for stock constraint coefficients. No gaps or blanks must be left in the table. In the basic open stocks worksheet, key time bucket IDs, as well as SKU IDs and descriptions must be left as generated. Numeric values for open stocks have to be entered for all combinations of key time bucket IDs and SKU IDs. Again, no gaps or blanks must be left in the table. In the basic PARAM worksheet, key time bucket IDs, as well as SKU IDs and descriptions must be left as generated. Numeric basic top line parameters values have to be defined for all combinations of key time bucket IDs and SKU IDs. No gaps or blanks must be left in the table. Finally, in the basic PARAM constraints worksheet, time bucket IDs must be left as generated and numeric values for top-line parameters constraints have to be specified for each time bucket ID. As in the previous cases, no gaps or blanks must be left in the table. To build a rolling plan template, click on the main rolling plan page tab. Then, press on the build rolling plan template button. As a result, the Build Rolling Plan Template dialog pops up. In the dialog, select the type of the time buckets of the rolling plan. Specify parameters of the key time bucket. Enter the number of buckets in the planning horizon. And to start template generation process, click OK. How is the rolling plan table structured? As its name suggests, the main purpose of the rolling plan template is to provide the means to build rolling plans, taking into account initial on-hand balances, demanded quantities, stock constraints, capacity constraints, and top-line parameters constraints. Roughly. The grid can be divided in two areas, planning area, and constraints area. In the planning area, you can find your SKUs, manufactured on various work centers or production lines. Open stocks defined for the key time bucket, basic top line parameters values, 
as well as columns to enter planned quantities, and to visualize your closing stocks in each period over the planning horizon. In the constraints area, you can see stock constraints for each SKU, available times, and required times for various work centers or production lines, as well as top line parameters constraints, and top line parameters values. There are several more elements of the planning grid to pay attention to. First of all, the time buckets strip should be mentioned. As you can see it is split in two sections, one for the planning area, and one for the constraints area. Closely related to this strip is the cell which displays the type of the time buckets. Another important cell shows the name of the current rolling plan. This name, combined with the type of time buckets is used to save, and retrieve plans from the main plans table. And last, but not least, the remaining capacity strips are used to separate areas for planning various work centers or production lines, as well as to display total required times, remaining capacities, and time constraints per work center or production line for each of the time buckets over the planning horizon. Thanks for watching. You can check out planningtools.net website and Planning Tools channel on YouTube for more videos.